Okay, in this video, we're going to learn how to make a dormer in a roof. So here I have a house that has a roof. We're going to take a look at it from an elevation standpoint. So we can see that we have a roof here, and there's three levels. Our roof starts at level three. Notice I have two reference planes. One is going to define the center of the, uh, the ridge line, and then the other is going to find, define the edge of the exterior wall. If I go to level three, I can see these lines. I'm going to draw one more reference plane. I'm going to have this represent the back side of my dormer. And from the from the actual uh, ridge line, let's see, three feet over. I'm cool with that. Now when I go to uh, to actually draw my dormers in, let's draw one more reference plane from each edge. When I click on this, let's draw that one at five foot from the end there. From the, let's change that from the inside. Let's do the same with this one. Let's make it five foot from the inside. And now we can draw walls. The walls, we're going to do finish face exterior, draw them clockwise. Let's draw that at six foot straight down and over and up. And then this wall here, let's go straight down over six foot up and over. Escape out. Okay. So now we have our two two walls. I'm just going to slide that over to my mark. And grab that move tool. Slide that over straight down. All right. My two sets of walls created. I'm going to go over to 3D. They're going to be very tall. What I'm going to do is end up drawing my dormer at an offset height that I want. So if I go over to my elevation we can see here, we can start to define. I like to use a, you can use rough plane or you can use a detail line to kind of figure out how high you want to go. What I like about detail line, if we go to annotate and we click on detail line, you can use this to just kind of reference how high you want that to be. So let's say we go 10 feet up for our wall and for our, uh, for our roof, maybe we want to start it at six feet or so and have it kind of slope up to around 10 feet. I'm going to go back to level three. In level three, we're going to go to the architecture tab, create a roof, and we are going to define a slope, the two foot overhang, let's say. We're going to do pick lines. Pick this line over here. Oh, my overhang went away. Let's do that again. Pick lines with an offset of two feet. Finding slope over here and over here. And then let's just do one that does not define the slope on the front. And let's finish that off with the line in the back. And then we're going to use our corner tool to line that up. We might end up needing to edit the profile of our roof to make it tie in nicely to our structure. We'll have to find out. Let's go over to check it off. We're going to say no for right now. And now that it's already highlighted, let's just sum that up. And like we had seen in the elevation, let's sum that up to six feet above the base that it's at. And in 3D, we can see where that's going to end up. And so it looks like I could send that back a little bit more. Or what I could do is um, just kind of mess around with that a little bit more later. I'm just going to send that back a little bit more by editing the footprint. And I'm going to go back to level three to see that. 
And we can just send that back to our ridge for right now. I'm going to say no. We're going to do the same thing over here to create the rest of that dormer. But for the sake of this video and speed, I'm just going to do it to the one. So over here, we're going to take these walls, highlight them. Let's attach them to the top base of this roof. Now we got those tucked away. And then we're going to uh, change the pitch of this roof slightly. So let's add the footprint on that. And when we click on these lines here, we can then edit the pitch. Let's make that a 412. Same thing over here. We'll make that a 412. Rise and run. Take that off. We have a 412 coming out. A little bit of an overhang. And our wall is all nice and lined up. If you ever need to, though, you can edit the profile of the wall. So this wall here, the side wall, another way you can do this, if we don't want to be sticking on there, is we can go edit profile. And what we can do is uh, instead of having this thing go all the way up here and then connect top base, we can delete that out. And we can bring this straight down. This we can bring, mm, let's we'll delete that one out. This one we're going to bring up to the intersection here. And it pays to zoom in to see what you're doing. We want to just be parallel to where we were. And actually, we can bring that up. And then we can finish that off with a line. So this is an option you have. Corner tool, just double check everything. And then you have to unjoin those elements to remove those constraints. And we can see if we orbit down, we can see if we didn't make it tall enough. And then we can go and we can change that. And a great way to change that, it's actually in your, uh, your elevations. So in this west elevation, I can get a pretty good look at it. And what we can do is we can draw ourselves a reference plane if we needed to. And we can end up hiding this roof and actually moving this uh, reference plane up to the actual height that we have here. So let's use that spot. Now let's take this reference plan and move it right here. And then that's where we want this wall to actually be. So we would edit the profile on that. We would bring that up to right there. We bring that up. And then we would check that off. And then we would show our hidden elements by going to our light bulb, clicking on that roof, and then unhide. And that last part there was only if you're uh, kind of getting picky and you had some complicated dormers and you needed your roof to be cut in real nice. All right, don't forget to save and subscribe.